morning primary school. I don't think that any school really should have strengths in the sense that other bits of it are weak. You know? uh, when people say to me, well that, that school over there is very good at history or it's very good at maths, I think, well what are the things it's bad at? You know? And I would say if you look at the school's examination results over the last four or five years, the first thing you would notice is that we have more successes at almost everything than most schools. We are very strong at the sciences. We are very strong indeed at modern languages. We're exceptionally strong in our mathematics. And I know that the people I'm talking to now both did maths early and, and did well at it. We're particularly good at arts. You know, at the drama studio and a very fine art department. I think we're probably the only school in the area that does textiles in the way we do it. Mm -hmm. We've invested lots and lots of money in technology and our computers and high tech program now is really getting into gear. So where are we weak? We're certainly not weak in humanities. You know? We've got a marvellous history and geography department and therefore you begin to look around and say well what's left? Our English results this year were probably amongst the best in the county if not in the country. So I would say we're particularly strong for each child where it matters. Why do you think this is so? Two reasons. 
for very simple and obvious reasons. The first is that children enjoy their time in the school and therefore because they enjoy being here they work and they enjoy their work and they work hard and they come back each day smiling and if you enjoy being in school then you're going to do well. I think the second reason and one which most people aren't aware of until they get to the end of their fifth year is that the teaching programme is very carefully organised, very carefully thought through and although it may appear to a child to be a random collection of lessons. Children are being taken through a very well thought out programme. take another hour on that. I mean, they're all obvious things, but they're all things that matter. At a very simple level, in terms of the children being in the school, we have decorated or re-equipped or refurbished virtually every room in the school and every corridor in the school. So the children now are working in an environment that is clean, it's pleasant, it's well equipped and it's well resourced. We take a lot of pride in that that children go into a very pleasant, warm environment. I think that's one of the reasons why they enjoy it. Now, what we've also done is to add greatly to our specialist provision. For example, we've built a new laboratory. We have installed new equipment in the technology area. We've installed new equipment in computer science and we're about to do a, a very major installation in computers this term as well. We've done huge building projects. We've built a performing arts centre at a cost of around a quarter of a million pounds with a new music suite, new drama studio, new library and learning centre. Into the library we've put things like a career centre with a job file, we've put CD-ROM, we've done all sorts of things.
Yes, that's true. The building program is, is still well underway. We've, at the moment, we're expanding the main hall, and that will give us two advantages. It will double the size of the dining room, and therefore it will make the lunch hour more civilised and more pleasant for everybody. It will also, because we're taking people who are currently eating in the hall out of the hall, it will release the main hall to be used for its real purpose. Music, drama, the arts, meetings of clubs and activities. And it will put that hall back where it belongs, that is on the school timetable, and not as part of the kitchen. Yeah. It'll also give us a very nice pavilion onto the sports field as well. We have a very, very strong PTA. What kind of events have the PTA done that have raised a lot of money? Well, there are... it ranges. I mean, we've had an annual and very successful Donkey Derby, you know, um, which is very English, very traditional. A summer evening, sunshine, specially arranged, it's always on the calendar that the sun will shine on the night of the Donkey Derby. Brass band playing, a beer tent, donkeys racing, Sideshows, people enjoying themselves, relaxing, maybe raising several thousand pounds. 